Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the Ulephone S8 Pro. Okay, so we've been taking a look at some of the uh, cheap sub £100 phones from Chinese manufacturers, and today we're going to look at the Ulephone S8 Pro. This is the upgraded version from the standard S8. This one's got a bit more memory, fingerprint reader, etc. So let's have a look and see what we get in the box. Not a lot. So there's the phone itself. That's the Ulephone S8 Pro. Comes as standard with a TPU rubber case on there. And on the top, you have got a micro USB charging port, a headphone jack. On the side, nothing there. On the base, a microphone and speaker or maybe two speakers, we'll find out more when we turn it on. And on the other side, you've got your uh, wake resume button and volume up and down. On the back, you've got a dual camera. So that's a five megapixel and a 13 megapixel, and you've also got dual tone flash. Just underneath the camera is a fingerprint reader, which at this price point is a pretty interesting feature. Moving around to the front, you've got a 5.3 inch display, a five megapixel camera, and also an interesting feature, this price is a soft flash. So when you're taking selfies in the dark, you can see yourself. Whether you want to or not, I don't know, but it's there anyway. Now straight out of the box, this comes with a screen protector already on it, ready to go. I see it's also got the TPU case, as is uh, common practice now with most of these Chinese phones. Now let's go through some of the specs. So 4G LTE supported, 5.3 inch display as we said, the bezel is a really thin 0.5 millimeter bezel, two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of ROM. Comes out the box with Android 7.0, which uh, they think is gonna be upgraded to Oreo, but it hasn't been released yet, so we don't quite know. Uh, so fingerprint ID, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, and let's see the dual cameras. So let's open up and see what we get inside. Now, how do we get this off? Right, okay. This is where it's good to have nails or somebody nearby with nails. Talk amongst yourselves. Calf's about to break in now. So while we're waiting for Calf to get our nails under there, let's have a look what else we get. So there's a micro USB charger. Thank you. A Ulephone S8 Pro user manual, which tells you where to put your SIM card and your SD card and what the buttons do and where they are, etc. You can have a read through that at your leisure. And there's your warranty card, should you need it. So let's get back to the phone. So you've got a plastic cover on the back, which wants to come off just about and there's the battery which is removable somehow from the bottom and as is quite common on these Chinese phones these days they have a sort of a cover over the battery to stop it coming on in customs or transit or whatever so make sure if you get one of these take that off always it'll never work and never charge so on the back you've got your SD card slot and SIM card slot you can actually put a SIM card in there if you don't want to use the uh, extra storage so Okay, up to you if you want to use two sims. Flame likes it. He does. So, let's turn it on and see what it's like. So, let's get rid of the screen protector first of all. So there we go, Uniphone S8, Powerboy Android. And actually, the first thing I noticed about this, now I've got the, the film off and the cover, it's actually got a really nice grip, really nice feel to it. It's a uh, semi-metal construction, so you've got metal main body, plastic back, obviously glass front, which is a 2.5D. No Gorilla Glass on this, unfortunately, but it's still a nice IPS 720p screen, which is taking a while to boot up. First time boots always take ages. Now, talking of speed, it's got a uh, quad-core CPU running at 1.3 gigahertz. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. And actually, it's quite a nice looking screen. It's got some pretty good viewing angles, so let's try it and get started. And we're we setting up on the network. It's amazing how quickly you can get used to doing this upside down. And it's asking there to uh, put fingerprints in because you've got a fingerprint reader on the back, which is uh, great at this price, but we won't bother. So anything else? No, we'll set it up later. So there we are. That's a, a pretty plain version of Android 7.0 Nugget. And what we've got here, welcome uh, wallpapers and widgets. No, we won't do any of that. So there we go, straight out of the box. Uh, pretty stock Android experience. Now uh, let's actually I'm going to take a quick break now. I'm going to set up on the Wi Fi and I want to see if those speakers are stereo speakers or not. So be right back. 
that's got that out of the way. Okay, so what we were going to do is see what the uh, the speaker was like on this thing, or whether or not it's a, uh, a mono or stereo. As you can see there, there's two sets of grills, which is normally a, a design thing more than a, uh, a functional thing. So let's go to uh, YouTube and see if we can find a, a random video. So what should we try? Oh, Mike's unboxing. There, there we go. Well, you'd be interested, wouldn't you? Keep on watching to find out more. So there is a okay, so definite a, uh, mono speaker. Happy Christmas, and you've probably uh, drank a bit too much and eaten a bit too much, and it's starting to show a little bit. What are you going to do? Well, right, let's pause that. So it's only a mono speaker and it's not a particularly uh, good quality speaker at that, at full blast. Although it's got some sort of volume to it, it's not particularly clear. So if uh, media consumption is going to be your primary goal for this phone, I would suggest possibly spending a little bit more money and maybe looking slightly higher at the range. Uh, maybe one of the Nokia phones, the Nokia 3, the Nokia 5, that kind of thing. But um, certainly it's uh, usable, but it, it's not great. So that's the speaker question answered. Now, another thing is, which I'm interested in, is the camera to see how good the camera is. So let's take a few quick snaps and uh, see what we can get. Now, being it's got a dual camera, five megapixel and 13 megapixel, should take some, uh, some pretty nice, interesting pictures. Now that, to me, looked a little blurry, so we'll see if we get some time to focus. Yeah, definitely struggling with the uh, ISO levels. But then it's under sort of slightly uh, bizarre lighting characteristics here, as I'll take a picture of. And there's our cat climbing. Oh, she's gone. It's a quick snapper, but not quite as quick as Maisie. Okay, so let's see if we can get a macro shot on this USB cable. Let's see if we can get some blurry background while we're at it. Actually, that looks quite crisp and it seems to have focused pretty quickly. So let's see how it deals with uh, small text. Now, initially, I think that's actually pretty good. And even with a, a reasonable level of zoom, the text is uh, pretty sharp. I don't know if you can pick that up very well. But that's uh, that's not bad at all, considering to start off from that. So, quite a good, clear, crisp camera. We quite like that. That's a plus point. The speaker's a bit of a downside, but the uh, the camera actually looks to be really good. So let's try a selfie, and it's got a thing called face beauty mode, which uh, well, if it can do anything with this, then it's worth the money on its own. I don't know, let's see what that picture's like without face beauty. Ooh. So, that's the selfie mood done. And let's take one of the uh, the film crew. <laughs> and they're both not very impressed with that. So that might not make it to the final cut. But anyway, so this has been a brief unboxing and quick overview of the uh, Ulephone S8 Pro. This is available from Amazon and Gearbest and other Chinese retailers. You're looking around about $79.99 in the UK. So you're looking probably about best part of $100. Uh, you might be able to get some uh, reductions or some coupon codes on that to bring it down a little bit more. But having said that, £80 for this kind of quality of phone quite solid, quite sturdy, and I quite like it, especially with the fingerprint reader at this price is a, is a great inclusion. So if you want to get one, click on the links from the description below. But in the meantime, I'll be Mike, this has been the Uniphone S8 Pro, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.